My house is burnt to a crisp. Oh, it is, okay. There's nothing there. Forced to leave everything behind tonight, that woman is among those who have lost their homes and everything to a fast-moving wildfire near the Dalles. Welcome, everyone, to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Kelly Day. Jeff is off tonight. It's called the Government Flat Complex Fire, and it continues to rage tonight near the Dalles as neighbors close by have to choose either evacuate or risk their lives. All of this while the state could see a shortage of wildland firefighters in the coming days. Jolie Winaga is now live at the Northwest Fire Coordination Center downtown with more on that grim reality, Joel. Kelly, good evening to you. Wildfires burning here in Oregon and the Northwest are actually taxing the nation's firefighting resources. The preparedness level is now at its highest it's been in five years. As a result, fire officials are having trouble keeping up with resources and equipment to help with these nations, uh, the nation's firefight. As the flames from the fast-moving government flat complex move uncomfortably close to homes near the Dalles, for Sarah Birchfield, it's too late. And I'm going to be honest with you, it looked like Armageddon to me. It just looked like a napalm bomb hit it from our trailer all the way back through the driveway. The wildfire swallowed her home that she has lived in for the past five years with her family. While possessions can be replaced, she knows lives cannot. I have my moments, don't get me wrong, I break down, I cry, I've lost... I've lost a lot. The Birchfields attended this community meeting with other concerned evacuees Tuesday night. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know anything. It was pretty scary. The scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. We'll survive. We lose our house. We'll be fine. We have each other and, you know, I got some valuables out and it's okay. More than 700 firefighters are trying to save homes near the Dells. The government complex has already scorched more than 8,000 acres. This at a time when the nation's firefighting resources are already stretched thin. What the concern is, if we have a lot of new fires start, a, you know, large fires, the resources that we have, that's all we're going to get. Currently, Oregon is third in priority to get firefighting resources behind Idaho and Montana, which hardly sits well with those forced from their homes under a level three evacuation order from a wildfire that has already destroyed seven buildings, including Sarah Birchfield's home. And we just wanted to get the heck out, and that's exactly what we did. We packed our animals up, we packed what we could in our vehicles, and we got the heck out. Yeah, powerful testimony indeed. Now, the cost to fight these wildfires is also up. We're told that Oregon has spent 10 times the amount uh, compared to other summers. And with more lightning on the way this week, there really no end in sight. Reporting live tonight, I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Kelly, we'll send it back to you. Joel, thank you.